What's up guys, and welcome back. It's been a while, and honestly, there hasn't been a whole lot of stuff going on for me to be recording and doing. We've been doing a lot of traveling lately, and um, most of that traveling hasn't really had much to do with car stuff. Um, we did go down to Florida. You guys will see that video uh, soon. I, it should be a pretty good video. Went down, I uh, saw my buddy Brandon and his shop, uh, Works Automotive. But I'm back today and I finally start ha started getting some parts in the mail that I've been waiting for for a while. This specific part, it's been two months since I ordered it. I ordered it on Memorial Day weekend and it finally showed up today. So let me show you guys because this is gonna be the start of the little transformation of the exterior of this car and you know it's new look that I wanted for 2020 that you know at this point I wanted for 2021. So which I'm sure none of you guys really saw this one coming because it's not exactly a common mod for these cars but I got myself a we got my shadow out of there a D-Max hood vent for the 3000. So I've always wanted one since I saw Kendrick put one on his car. Chris's E46 has one as well. And you know, it just, I wanted something that would be more aggressive. And um, I was asking all my friends uh, and all that about, you know, what I should do. And you know, we have some other things coming, but the one thing that Morgan pointed out was that getting a D-Max vent would definitely add some aggression to the front of the car. Now it'll also help with the cooling because there are vents in it and we will obviously be cutting the hood so that the air can escape out the vent once it goes in and uh, it should definitely help a lot more with cooling. Now, I waited two months for this one and the reason being that I ordered this specific one is because it's made out of ABS plastic. So, especially once it gets warm, it has some wiggle to it because I've seen a lot of guys running fiberglass ones. And when you have the curve in the hood and you wanna try and get it perfect, uh, the fiberglass doesn't really like to flex as much. Whereas ABS plastic, if you heat it up, you can get it to bend when you're riveting it on and kind of just get it to that shape that you really want. And the finish is pretty good. Um, there's one random high spot right there, but that's no big deal. What I'm gonna be doing is wrapping this. Once I mount it to the car, I'm gonna pull it off, uh, wrap it, to match probably at least do white around like the outside facing parts of it and then I might see I think I have enough purple but I might do like maybe some purple inside the vents with some neon yellow I'm not really 100% sure yet um, which route I'm gonna take there but I will be doing uh, mostly white with some accents inside um, or maybe I'll keep it black on the inside just to match like the mustache up front. I haven't really decided that yet. So I guess what I'm going to do now is I got a highlighter so I can write on my vinyl and wipe it off. Um, but I'm going to take some measurements and try and figure out, you know, where exactly I want this thing to sit. So I guess what I'm going to do first is find the center point of my hood. So I'm just going to go from this side to this side and it's about 35 and three quarters of an inch so i'm going to divide that by two make a center point mark and then we'll find the center point of the hood vent so i took the center point um, i just moved it up because the hood spreads out a little bit and i made it to an even number and i very faintly marked my line there and i took the center point here marked my line on the hood scoop here and then i'm going to take the center point across the back and mark my line on the hood and then mark my hood or mark my center point line on the back of the vent. That way I'll basically just have to have this line and that line lined up. I'll know that it's centered, uh, you know, in the hood and I can kind of just move it like forward and backward uh, depending on where I want it. And then I'll mark, I'll just use that highlighter, do a very faint outline on the hood itself and then come in a couple inches and create the area that I'm gonna to have to cut out. I know you probably can't see, but in that highlighter, I have the outline drawn out on the hood, pretty big area. But now I need to figure out how, uh, how far in that I need to cut because these pieces have to go basically like drop down into the engine bay hair. Um, so I'm gonna take some measurements off the side. So like that is, 
about two and a half inches to one and a half, one and a half, one and a quarter. So this will be the front. So I gotta be, I have to cut two and a half inches in. So I have the square drawn out on the hood. And now I got my little Dremel and some cutoff wheels. I'm gonna cut the top layer of the hood. Now I know there is the structural support underneath, but I'm gonna cut the top layer out, pull that off, and then see what is underneath that I might have to further trim out. All right, so making progress here. I got one side cut, the other side about a quarter of the way cut. I've gone through these wheels pretty quickly, so I'm hoping that I can get the whole thing done. And I, I, I had the hose running just down like where I'm working to try and get some water on the cuts, but I uh, forgot about how good ceramic coating is because the water literally just runs right off the car. It doesn't even like hang out. But uh, yeah, getting it done. Got three more of these left before I'm gonna be forced to go to the store and get more but hopefully I can get this whole rectangle cut um, before I run out. All right, so bringing out the big guns, this guy. Ran out of blades, but ran out of blades with not much left to go. Couple inches there. However, look under here, this webbing underneath, I'm gonna have to get cut out along with this section here. So, Polly is literally pulling up right now. And uh, I'm gonna have him give me a hand, just like hold the hood up like here so the blade has room to go underneath. And I'll just do a quick run around with the Sawzall and finish off that corner there and uh, get this thing popped out. Hood bent fits in, it's centered, it lays flat. I'm gonna start by just doing some very small self tappers right now, um, just to get it in place. I'm gonna do one in the middle, one on each corner, and uh, leave it like that for now, because I will be riveting it on, like we left enough of a lip to run some rivets down the sides as well. Um, so yeah, we'll get some self tappers. And uh, here, I'll show you how much of the engine bay is exposed. Well, how much of the engine. It's actually like basically like the whole engine. <laughs> basically the entire engine. Uh, we'll have a vent above it now. So it's kind of weird looking. But I like it. All right. So I backed it up out of the driveway. We have to trim the hole a little bit more. All I did was a couple self tappers and three across the front, two across the back, just to hold it down until I pull it back off. Um, I'm gonna trim a little bit more on this side, just a hair, because there's a tiny, tiny gap there that uh, like the inside part of this vent is hitting. Um, but other than that, it's good. I'll pull the self tappers out and I will rivet it on once I get my hands on the rivets. All right, so that's it. The Euros hood vent is installed on the car i just drove it around it didn't fly off uh, i will be wrapping it maybe tomorrow night i'm not really sure yet but either way it's on installed after driving it it's crazy how hot this thing gets and how much heat is coming out of these vents it's nuts so like all that heat that was trapped under the hood can now escape from under the hood so it looks killer I can't wait till it's wrapped and it blends in with the hood a little more because right now it's just like boom like big blob uh, i do like the abs plastic because it has some some flex to it but it was also a lot easier to just conform with the hood and all that and i don't know it just looks better to me it just like it's nice and sealed up on there and um conformed up nice so as always guys, thank you for watching. Sorry it's been a while. Uh, maybe I'll get that Florida video up for you guys next. I just had to edit it um, and get it up out there. But I wish I could say I have an event coming up. Next event we're gonna be at is Freedom Moves uh, first weekend of September. But I have some stuff I need to do to the Suburban and to the 
Cadillac in the meantime that you guys will be seeing also next because um, they're both down right now. Good old Judy's over there and the Cadillac's out there. and They're both down, so I'm gonna have to get them fixed up. So, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,